Oh, it's not ghosts anymore, Weatherbound. Now it's a new Halloween word. I had such a good run yesterday. Revenge Explosion and Glass Cannon is such a good combination. That's a lot of oil. Like, a lot of oil. Obviously, I'm going to set all of that on fire. Let's see. Rock. Alright, we can blow our way down there using... the box. Ooh. Come on. This is our way in down there. And this I would like to shoot... to set all that on fire. Also, let's, let's wash off the oil on us. There we go. Oil free. What is this? Whiskey. And this is going to electrify once we grab the wand. I'm curious. Maybe if you just, like, destroy this part of the environment where the trigger is? Like, if this is severed, maybe it won't set it off? I mean, we should be able to grab it and get out without a problem. There we go. Just fast enough. Now let's try and sober up a little bit. And I wash off a little bit more of this whiskey. No. Much better. Ah, poison now. There we go. All clean. And what's our wand we just got? Little bouncing fireballs. Not too exciting. But a wand is a wand here at the beginning. So I'm not going to complain. But yeah. Glass cannon with a revenge explosion. It's a very powerful combination, I found out. Like, if they shoot three bullets, the first bullet hits you. Revenge Explosion wipes out everything on the screen, including the enemy that shot, and their bullets that were behind the first bullet. <clears throat> so you end up protecting yourself from future bullets. <coughs> Alright, we've got extra health. Which, if we got glass cannon, won't matter, but if we don't, <coughs> happy to have it. Plus cannon, plus the constant explosion move. Yes, the uh, aspect of light, I think, is that perk. I've been wanting to get that combination going. I usually end up getting glass cannon on the floor like four. And it's too much of a hassle to go all the way back up. Also, it always sets me on fire. You still... <laughs> the South Korean guy still wonders what happened to those, uh, those few days ago when we raided him. That was a really fun raid. He he seemed to uh, really appreciate having a whole bunch of people show up. And then having to awkwardly try and remember how to speak English. Which is very entertaining. Yes, the one in the Wicker Man area. Uh, that one always ends up setting me on fire. And then the one to the right uh, aspect of explosion always ends up killing me via explosions. They're two very dangerous perks. All right, I want to set all that oil on fire. This is the most oil I've seen on the first floor. I don't think I've ever had this seed before. Oh god, it happened without me. Well, that's convenient, because I want to get in there for that chest, but it's a little bit difficult right now. Get out of here. Ah, oh, the chest just had an egg in it. I think that's an egg. Oh, it's teleportatium. I don't need that. Un uninterested in teleportation flask. Sure, there's a lot of fire in here. Let's head down. I'm happy about having another wand, even if it's kind of a garbage wand. Okay. Not quite what I was going for. But nice, his money went up. He 
Gimme, gimme. 170. I definitely... Ooh, more health. Looks like this is going to be a very healthy run. Let's turn all that poison into water. Makes my life a little bit easier. What do you think Noid is going to cost? I don't know. Like, as of right now, it's... It's like $17, right? My guess is probably somewhere in the 20-ish area. Oh, word. I can't read that because it's just a whole bunch of consonants next to each other. That's not how you make words. Alright, what we got here? Gunpowder, wood. I feel like we could topple this. But, ooh, two wands! That's what I want to see. Let's see, let's see. I want to kill that guy. So let's try and be smart about this. We use the bomb here. We can start flooding that chamber, and hopefully we can get the pyromancer in the water. You don't see it going above 20? I would honestly not be surprised if it was more expensive, just given that it's a very robust game already. But, at the same time, like, it's an indie game, they tend to, uh, they tend to like keeping the prices low. Encourages people to do it. You thought you took the face cam off, but there it is. Yep, still here. If people want it, I'll keep it on. If people don't want it, I'll take it off. But we've gotten a lot of requests for it, so I figure, why not? It's definitely going to be on for the spooky games, because that's pretty Halloween-y appropriate. But I'm... I'm pretty neutral on Noida. I'm happy with it on or off. Is that a fungal cavern over there? It's usually not where this spawns. Weird. I mean, I still have reason not to eat them. Face cam needs a little bit more light. It's a little hard using this as like kind of a bounce light here. I'll eventually get the lighting right. Oh, I think I know a way. Well, he had a wand. That could have been kind of dangerous. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. A little bit more light. Yes, this game is a little bit dark. Jesus, that's a scary room. We got three enemies that produce acid and one that produces poison. I have a nice PC tan, thank you. Alright, let's just uh, get this as close as we can. Because we're out of bombs. This is our way in. I don't want to get hit by acid. Jesus, God. Very frightening. I can't tell what anything is right now because we are tripping on mushrooms. All right, that's that's poison. I can I can understand that. But God, how many of them are there? Oh, the big guy's not still alive. Two wands? Alright, let's replace our bomb wand. Friendly bro versus creepy basement dweller. I mean, I'm a creepy basement dweller when you get right down to it. I live in darkness. I, I, I black out my windows. I like dark. But I'm trying to find like the balance for how to light the stupid camera. Alright, wand wise. 
We have decent stuff given where we are. Hmm. I really want this chest. There's no great way to get to it right now. Let's see. Yes, we can. There we go. All right, money gotten. Put that in the last position. It seems like it's starting to wear off. What's interesting is it doesn't have like a status effect like the other things do. And those are like, you have percentage of blank in your system right now. This one doesn't. All right, I think I'm happy with this. 436 means we should have enough gold to get whatever we want at the next floor. And we have a bunch of wands to work with. I really, really don't see a reason to stick around anymore. It's similar to when you're hit by the blindness smell. Doesn't really let you know how much is left. Now we got teleporting. There's a spider that can go flat on a tree. I'm sure there are spiders that could do way more interesting things than just that. Well, it's glass cannon, so that's the run today. Which is good, because I love glass cannon. As you can see, our health we picked up, absolutely worthless immediately. But this isn't worthless. In fact, this is the greatest wand I've ever seen because of our current status. Let's see, I'm gonna take apart a few of these. I really like the cast delay on this bad boy. Like to get a few more arrows for it. This is a shuffle wand. It has a very long recharge, but that's not too much of a problem. Capacity of 12, two, four, six, seven. We have eight bombs. So I guess we'll hold on to this wand because I want to drop as many bombs as humanly possible. And we're just going to hold on to these spells. I'm going to keep two wands empty just because we don't have good spells to put them in there right now. They're kind of just dead wands. We'll just wait and see if we can replace them with other better wands. To get to the boss, the health boost is maybe more valuable than glass cannon. You'll be surprised at what you can do with glass cannon. Like, health is nice for survivability, but if we get glass cannon, revenge explosion, permanent shields... That's a combination that will probably make us pretty effective at killing the boss. Question is, will we survive long enough as I drop bomb after bomb after bomb and just reduce this place to rubble? Because I love reducing this place to rubble. It's a great way to get gold as well. Is anything that doesn't get obliterated tends to be a vein of gold that interrupted the blast. All right, point 0.15, point 0.48. We'll place our starting wand. I don't like the rumbling I'm hearing right now. Like I'm starting to get a little nervous. Hopefully you'll find those synergies. Yes, I really hope so. Revenge Explosion is also a really good one. With glass cannon, like, something hits you and then it's dead. And anything else that was on the screen is also coincidentally dead. Boop. Fly up, 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 up. But just, just lapping up the gold that you leave on the ground after blowing things up with glass cannon. Very, very profitable. And also, killing the boss fast is a nice thing, and we have very great damage output with Glass Cannon. Naturally. Uh, I mean, we're replacing a Shuffle Wand with a Shuffle Wand, but I like the spells in it better than what we had in the Empty Wand. So we're going to grab that. It's just free piles of gold on the floor. 
Is there only one boss or other more? Uh, there's one end boss, but there is an optional boss that we are going to try and take out at some point. All right, I'm just basically mopping up some extra gold here. We're already up to 482 golds. Like, I could drop another bomb and really <laughs> open things up here. But we really don't need to. Grab his gold. I think I'm I think I'm happy with this. I think this floor is over. Any gold down here? Nope. Just a quick little peek over here. Oh, a little bit of gold up there. Let's just fly up there, mop that up, and then head on down to the next floor. Ah, damn. I didn't realize it was stuck behind that little spit of dirt. I should have brought that little fireball. That could have uh, cracked that open for us. I imagine they're going to be adding more. Like, the outside world is pretty barren right now, so I bet we're going to be looking at additional bosses out there. Hey, Goat Priest. Yeah, I'm very happy with just obliterating each level one by one as I go along. All right, we got some spell components. I'm terrified of the rumbling, so I'm going to get my perks first. All right, homing shots could be very nice. What is on here? Like the liquid. This, this layer it looks like lava almost, but I could eat it. So if it's lava, I don't... I guess I could eat lava. I'm afraid of worms coming. Magic bolt with trigger could be very good. Let's grab that for later. All right, so this is 0.1.4. Oh god, the spread is terrible. 25 degrees. Minus 5 degrees. All right, so... I think what I want to do is... Ah, poo. This wand with that spread is kind of trash. But we will do... Increase on that, even though it's shuffle, unfortunately. All right, we need to get a better wand. That is high up on the priority list here, but we're going to hold on to these parts for the time being. And who cares about these? Like, if we find another wand, I'm not going to cry over lost bolts. I'm going to grab digging bolts as well. That could come in handy. And now we're going to make more smoking craters. Because this, this is a great way to make money and not have any combat when you have glass cannon. It's just a very complete carpet, carpet bombing session. Uh, one more. And now we'll switch over to mop-up mode. Ooh, lasers. One degree spread. It's still shuffle, but again, better than our other shuffle wand here. Although this one has better... It's better stats. So I think we're going to replace this boy. I need to find non-shuffle wands. That's what we really want to find. I'd also like some slower projectiles. Because homing is great when you have, like, a slower spell. Because they have the time to turn around and find their mark. Less so with fast projectiles. They're too fast for the homing to kick in. I really want to find Revenge Explosion. I also think I'm going to uh, plant another bomb. Let's get like as high as we can before we commit to this. Here we go. This is a... Decent place for it. Up. Oh. Ooh, okay. Just survive that one. Jeez, that wasn't enough. Maybe if we throw one down here and then just immediately fly away. Ooh. This is how I get myself killed every time. 
Does Glass Cannon star, uh, stack with Berserkium? Yes, it does. It is terrifying and amazing in every way. Alright, it's another Shuffle Wand, unfortunately. But it gives me a whole bunch of triggers to work with. Stats aren't great, but... I like it just for the triggers. So sure, we'll grab that. Flask full of slime. Not seeing as much gold as I want to be seeing right now. <gasps> yeah, the recharge is kind of trash. I really just want the triggers in there. I want to start making some interesting ones. Ah, oh, every wand is a shuffle wand. It's terrible. This one does cast two spells, though. Am I willing to pass up a bunch of, uh... Spark Bolt with Trigger? Because we could do something really nice with lasers. You could make really powerful wands with lasers, especially if we have some good split shots that we could put on a trigger. Which is the only reason why I want these triggers. I take it just so we have some nice explosions. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, is some non-shuffle wands. I keep on finding shuffles. It's kind of pissing me off a little bit. God. Damned worms! So this is a problem. I'm hoping... It's not- oh, we've already angered the gods. Isn't that great? Of course, it's a shuffle wand. Ow. God, you're annoying. All right, we're okay. Drop a bomb and run where? Welcome back, rabbit ginger. Hell yeah, it's Noida time. Throw a bomb and watch yourself die. That's pretty much what we're talking about there. Oh my God, worm attractor is trash. We already have worm problems and like, hey, we want more worms? So let's go with strong levitation. Yeah, don't discount how much damage you do with Glass Cannon. Like, you could just rip through things with Glass Cannon. <coughs> the problem right now is we still don't have a good Shuffle Wand and we can't afford... <coughs> Excuse me. We still can't afford one. It's kind of pissing me off. So damage 10. Damage 10. Castellay is minus 3.7. So I think we want to... Uh, even this recharge isn't great. Just because, again, it's a shuffle wand. We're not we're not getting that benefit. Let's hold on to a few lasers. Wait. 0 0.0342, 0 0.3.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. This is probably still our best output wand, unfortunately. Whatever. We'll just have laser and also beam. What I want is one good non-shuffle wand that we can then put a trigger on, have that trigger trigger a pentagon, have five power spells come out of that. Kill another god? We will, because we have no choice. Every floor we go to is going to have them. Because these stupid worms dig into things, even when you're going relatively quick. Hmm... I'm gonna hold on to three of these, because this wand's probably gonna be the one I toss when we find something better. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Can you go back up and get more golds? Swap the recharge for the drill, it lowers recharge regardless of what wand decides to cast. Interesting, is that true? 
I guess it does have the recharge time minus 0.17 on it. So sure, we'll just toss the drill on there. Problem is that means every once in a while we're gonna have like just a drill go off like that. But still, the laser beam is really nice. Very accurate. Alright, we really... really need more money. But yes, we, we can in fact go back up if we want to. But I won't. Let's go down. Try it with both. I'm alright. Like, my main concern here is I don't want to reduce my output of damage all that much, so one recharge is good. Alright, this is a, a tricky one, because I, I want to start blowing stuff up, but we have another hole to deal with here. So the safe room's been obliterated. For sure now. I love the, the bassy death charge. Jeez, what is it landing on that we're still getting the sparks up here? Stupid safety room. <laughs> oh god. Homing. It's alright. Now... Okay. Yeah, seriously, we're not gonna have much of a base left when I'm done here. Can I destroy this flooring? It's steel. Very, very hard to break, unfortunately. It's a non-shuffle with a terrible recharge, unfortunately. I don't take any chances. Ah, <sighs> shuffle again. That poor guy. Sorry, let's try and get as much gold as we can get. And as good a wand as we can get. God damn it. Every wand is shuffle. Just gotta be very careful, especially around explosives. Is he coming? I don't think he knows how. All right. Don't like that you're still alive. Go ahead and use the environment to our advantage there. Ooh. Get off of me! Jesus. Alright, a little bit concerned about that. Yeah, I feel like Jim would love this game. I was really hoping that would take care of the problem. As long as we're careful, we take our time, we line up our shots, and we don't panic, we should be okay. Like, sheer damage output on this wand is real nice! I just really want to get something protective, like, either the permanent shield's uh, perk would be nice, or an always cast semi-shield or shields. My health is so low because Glass Cannon limits your health to 50. You cannot have more than 50 health. Oh god, no. Fucking... Alright, I think I got him. And the guy who had a wand, thankfully, also got him. Mmm, I said I wanted some good, good... Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. I have no time for your shit. Right, there's a sniper over there. 
I want to check out that wand, but I also need to make sure we're safe. Alright, it's starting to turn into a problem. There sure are a lot of you. There we go. Let's hope they have wands for sale. Wait, are the gods not angered? Can I shop in peace? Is there going to be a stupid eyeball floating in there? There's an eyeball. <gasps> Permanent shields! That's exactly what I want! Got him. Permanent shields! One step closer to not being all that vulnerable while we're using glass cannon. I'm just interested in anything that has decent stats, a no, and a decent capacity. This only has a capacity of three, which is trash. Five. Minus two spread. Unfortunately has always cast in front of you and behind you. That's such a bummer. Uh, this has always cast increased knockback. Really not lucking out here. In the wand department. Like, ideally I would have six. Six slots to work with. And a non-shuffle. <coughs> yeah, the low delay is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, if we put in just one trigger, it'll be fine. So, for instance, if it's Magic Bolt with Trigger, and oh, we need one, two... We actually need seven slots to do something with this. And we don't have anything better. It's a real goddamn bummer. The only two shuffles are three slots. Fucking five slots. Spells cast five! This casts everything in the wand, every time. With in front of you and behind you. Again, this I don't want. With glass cannon, we're doing a lot of damage. And blowing myself up is not an option right now. I refuse to do that. So I think we're going to just bomb our way in. That could be good, though, with homing on. If I am, like pointing up like this, it's going to hit the ground directly behind me, and everything does so much explosion damage, even things that don't do explosive damage. Oh, this one actually has an exploding radius of 3 and 22, but we're multiplying that by 5. So my laser beam would do a lot of damage to me, obviously fiery explosive projectile would do a lot of damage to me. It's very risky. I usually like taking risks, but uh, I may have mentioned earlier, my goal right now is like, we're doing it. Like, we're going, we're going the distance. Gonna try and kill the boss today. And we already have a pretty decent run going for that. But, I realize that this wand is actually pretty good right now. Because we're gonna cast two, it's gonna be two of these, and we have homing. These are relatively slow moving. 85 speed versus our 140 speed. They're still fast, but... The homing should work a little bit better with this. I guess I'll hold on to a few more lasers in there. Let's, uh... My plan right now is this wand is the trash wand. When we find something good, this is the one we're going to replace. So I'm putting stuff on here that I don't care about. These are unimportant. Double spell could be good. Refresh is really good. Fire arc... Don't need. I don't have protection from fire. It's going to kill me. That way I could hold on to... These three. So this wand. That's our, our drop wand. We're looking to get rid of that wand. Oh yes, we're... <laughs> Carpet bombing is how we're going to open this. For sure. Especially because I hate this place. The plant monsters are annoying, there's the new poison mechanic in here. I want as much of this place to be smoking rubble as possible. 
A permanent shield is going to be a nice thing to have here. And one more bomb. And with improved levitation, I could really reduce this place to a smoking hole in the ground. Because I could fly back up. Alright, someone over there is launching something at me. That sounds good. That sounds very... very blow-uppy. That's what I thought I saw. Alright, we got a wand over here. Immediately get in the water. It's just more bombs. But it's a non-shuffle with a capacity of 8, minus 3 spread, 0 0.33, 0 0.5. Not the best, cast 2 at a time. So I think this might be something we grab right now. Because at the very least, we could start building something with it. This doesn't do anything for us. Alright, we just gotta be careful. You know, most of the level is gone. Try and reap the benefits of that. Six slots, point one, point thirty-seven, has spells in it. Stat-wise, it's better. That is true. But not quite enough slots to do something fun. Like, I need five... for the thing, one for it, so that's six. I need seven at least, so capacity eight is better for a big, powerful, fuck you kind of spell. You know what I'm saying? Arby's may be low quality, but goddamn it, their gyro's good. Hey, as long as you like the gyros, that's all that matters. And of course we want gold. We don't want to deal with any of these people. So let's just make them not be alive anymore. Jeez. Jeep are still alive. Hmm. Don't don't mind if I gold. One thousand three hundred gold. Fortunately, I think four thousand is pretty much our our price range in here. Oh, never mind. It's just bits. All right, so we can start building something in here once we take care of this problem. All right, what are we seeing? I was a fool. I shouldn't have picked up the health yet. That's a bummer. Ah, <sighs> greed, electricity, immunity. I mean... He say jungle, so we're going into... Forget the name of this place. It's not the laboratory, it's the thing before the laboratory. So we're, only, we're not gonna really need gold much longer. I'm gonna take electricity immunity just in case it keeps me alive. <laughs> yeah. All right, I didn't take the health. I was smart for a change. Sometimes I surprise myself. Did I? I think something blew up below me. We've preemptively angered the gods on the next floor. Okay. <clears throat> just gonna go ahead and fill- just top it off. So here's what I want to do. I want magic bolt with trigger. On impact, pentagon shape. Question is, what do we want to have come out of this pentagon? I'm thinking we just like... Laser. Arrow. Laser. Arrow. Laser. Increase recharge time. Let's see what happens. So 
So for something big like the boss, most of these are going to be hitting the boss. I think that's pretty okay for now. It's double cast, you're right, we're casting two spells. Recharge time of half a second. So it's really a question of, do we want to have this cast something else? Or do we want to have the reduced recharge time? Let's see. If we do it like this, we shoot a laser and the bolts, and then when the bolt hits, this happens. But the recharge first. Hmm. Droppers? I mean, I do have a dropper bolts. There we go. Or even better. Unstable crystal does explosion of 400 with a radius of 30. No, that will kill us. I've got to be careful. Explosion radius of 16 is manageable. So a bomb radius of 60 is the whole screen and then some. So 60 is very dangerous. 16 should be manageable. 7 should be manageable. <coughs> with the homing, yes. Recharge first. That way it casts this first, and then it casts this with the bolts. <coughs> Excuse me. Explosion radius of 15 is also fine. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. What if it homes on an enemy near you, then explodes? Not good. As long as we're just a little bit far away. 16 explosion radius should be manageable. Same thing with 7. Like, 60 is a full screen with the bomb and glass cannon. I think we're okay. Especially with the boss. We can keep our distance with the boss relatively easily. And let's just, uh... Oh, I guess I guess a worm swung in, and that's why we got that message. Carpet bomb this place. I want none of the vault left by the time I get to the bottom. Just, just fuck this place up. Nothing safer than a good, good carpet bombing. And we're gonna get a few off to the sides too, just in case. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is Bone Dust, the, the defender of the god, like that weird skeletal robot thing. When you hit him, he drops Bone Dust. That's why I'm feeling pretty good with our, our current wand, is I could take out the... the guardian thing... pretty effectively with it. I think we'll be able to do a pretty good amount of damage to Durbosson. Ooh! Now we need to find our way through a little bit more. Those guys are scary. I hate their skulls! Shit. Please, please, fire. You gotta stop. Thank you. Drink the green? No, that is acid. That is death. That is like instant death. I think I want to do a little bit more, uh, bombing work, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, sniper. Huh. I want to go under. 
Fucking poison. No, no, no! No! Fuck you. Get that health. Whew. Alright, we just need to stay alive through this fucking god head encounter. Just keep on bouncing him back. Whew, okay. Alright, slime blood, exploding corpses, trash, absolute trash. We're gonna take the worm repeller, I guess. All right, Meteor Torch, Touch of Oil, Critical on Bloody Enemies, Thunder Charge, easy choice. Gonna slot that in right here. Yeah. This has a mana max of 2200. Don't think we're ever gonna run into a need there. Glass Cannon's my favorite perk for a reason, by the way. What's the damage explosion of the Thunder Charge? <coughs> explosion radius of 50. Ooh. That's the whole screen. Good. Good thinking. Good thinking. Yeah, Touch of Oil I might have been interested in if it wasn't the whole Glass Cannon thing. If we had Explosion Immunity, I would grab it without even thinking. Damage of 10. This does have an explosion element to it, so we'll stick with the laser. So now we're entering a little laboratory. I do have electricity immunity, but the explosion, I do believe, would still rip us apart. Temple of the... Oh, it landed in lava. Every time... Every time. This is- this is why Glass Cannon's great and also terrible. Like an idiot. I just was like, yeah, drop a bomb. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, all man is right. That's alright, we're gonna- That was our first run of the day. Like, I'd say we did alright for our warm-up run. Like, we made it- Made it there without much trouble.